did, along with uh, the executive director, Brad Miller, um, the Pinellas County School Board's meeting, where we have ratified uh, for those individuals that are in high school, and we've selected four um, high schools to begin with. Gibbs High School is one, Largo High School is the other, Dunedin High School, and I'm sorry, the last one um, kind of has taken away from my memory. But those individuals will be able to ride the public bus, PSTA, to school to see if that will aid uh, Pinellas County Schools in some of the issues they have had regarding hiring drivers. A number of drivers retired. Some of them were ill during the COVID movement. Um, if you have family members, you know you may have gotten that call saying the bus was delayed and perhaps that student didn't get home until well after 5, 30, 6 o'clock. So we are hopeful that that will help with some of um, those issues and concerns. Um, that was approved by the Pinellas County School Board's board, and Brad and I went there to make the presentation, and we were very excited about that. We're also excited that we, um, through Public Transportation, PSTA, have provided the free bus passes to the teachers, support staff, and students um, for Pinellas County Schools so they can ride the bus any other time at no charge. Um, we are hopeful because I've asked for some additional follow-up numbers as that moves along, how many are actually using the transportation. So we are looking to link the Flamingo Fair piece that will be able to actually track ridership on that.